So a driver who has popped up as of late on my radar is Ryan Vargas. He is a driver who has become a fan favorite seemingly out of nowhere, and at first I didn't understand it. He had minimal success in the K&N East series, and he was recently just let go from that same ride. So you're probably thinking, Darian, why are we talking about this kid? So in today's video, we will be going over his career up to this point and also discuss his future plans for 2019. So let's get into it. Vargas was first introduced to racing in 2010. He attended a race at Irwindale Speedway when he was just nine with his dad. On the way home, he told his dad that he wanted to race and it all started from there. He would begin racing in Bandoleros in 2012, and from 2012 to 2014, he was a three-time state Bandolero champion. In 2015, he would make the jump to both street stocks and trucks, where he would place third in the bullring standings over in street stocks, while placing seventh in the NASCAR Irwindale truck race standings. This is when Vargas caught his first big break, because after his first ever street stock win, he would catch the attention of Eshelman Racing and would sign with their late model program in 2016. He would get off to a good start in late models as he would place 7th in the California state standings and 64th in the nation in late models. 2017 would be his breakout year however as he would place 4th in state standings and 16th in the nation with 3 wins. Well, technically no, it was actually four. There was a race that he had won, but he unfortunately failed inspection because the team had a different battery they were running. And it wasn't his or his team's fault because the track they were running at didn't have his team on their emailing list, so they had no way of knowing that it was illegal. And also, having a different battery in the car didn't pose some sort of advantage over the competition, so pretty much he has four wins. During this two year span, he would also win a monumental award, the Wendell Scott Trailblazer Award. This award is presented annually to an outstanding minority or female driver who competes in the NASCAR Willen All-American Series ranks. 2018 would mark another big break in Ryan Vargas' career as he would sign with the K&N East development team Rev Racing to drive full time in 2018. He would also be a part of the 2018 NASCAR Next class which included a ton of talents from the likes of Haley Deegan, Zane Smith, and Will Rogers. His 2018 K&N East series stats are this, 0 wins, 0 top 5s, 6 top 10s, an average finish of 11th place and would finish 6th in the standings. For it being his first year in the K&N East series, I thought that was pretty good. Now of course it didn't warrant some sort of move to the truck series, but I figured a second year in the series would see him improve drastically. But then he gets let go from Rev Racing, and I didn't understand why, because he even beat one of his teammates in the standings. From what I understand, the entire Rev Racing situation was more of a business decision. The team was downsizing from a three to a two car operation, and from the start, they had spent a lot more time developing Chase Cabry, so it was really bad timing from the beginning. For 2019, Ryan Vargas is going to be doing nearly 30 late model races. Most notably, he will be getting support from fellow YouTuber Joseph Lombard, aka N2SC4, as he will be sponsoring Lombard Bros Gaming on Vargas' late model for a few races. It was later announced that he would be doing some late model races with Lee Falk Racing in 2019 on the East Coast as he'll be doing some races at both Hickory Motor Speedway and Anderson Motor Speedway. So he's going to get some racing action on both the West and East Coast. In my opinion, he is going to get better. Personally, I think Ryan Vargas is the real deal, but I felt like he hasn't gotten a fair shake as of early in NASCAR. To get released because of a business deal really blows, but from what I've been told, he could be back with Rev Racing as soon as 2020 to go back driving full time. He's also going to try and make some select K&N and ARCA series runs in 2019, and even hinted at possibly trying to make a truck series race this year. I gotta say, that's pretty ambitious. I know he's had some setbacks early in his career, but one thing we need to understand is that this is nothing to him. Vargas was born with craniosynostosis, an abnormal early fusion of soft bones on the skull. If he can get through that, I know for a fact he can get through this minor setback and come back stronger. Anyways, good luck to Ryan Vargas and everyone make sure to follow him on both Twitter and Instagram and also make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel in the links below. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.